Max heading to the new trailer. The morning is going good. Well, it was until uh, the sockets came out of my socket drawer. I have four, four socket drawers. One of them fell out. The one that probably has the most sockets fell out. So the morning's going good. That sucks. But these people do not. These people went to machinemerch.com and want to get a little bit more froggy fresh. I want to give a big shout out to Taya T, Richard B, Danielle M, Kyle W, Jordan W, Dalton B, Jonathan H, Max L, Keisha M, Stacy K, Tanner D, William A, and I also gotta give a shout out to my guy, Logan K. All right, so I guess I shouldn't have opened up the door right away. I should have probably turned around and picked up that. But luckily there were two good people that helped me pick up my sock. <laughs> now I gotta get a nut for this thing. Okay, I have my hardware. I'm gonna change it right now while I'm on blacktop instead of on snow or, or stone or whatever else I'm gonna be on. Man, I should really start recording more because more things happen off camera than they do on camera. On my way out, uh, I was accused of stealing. You don't get ahead in life by stealing, you know, 55 cents worth of washers and bolts. At, at least I don't. Now I gotta find the right socket for the job. nuts and bolts are installed the good thing is is I didn't make any new cuts but uh, I did open up an old cut pain is gain where are my keys got him So you're probably unsure of this, but this is a trailer park or a, or a maybe a getaway park. I don't know what it is, but they're doing uh they're they're getting the power back on the grid and they're blocking one of the roads. I just went through there and the one guy moved his truck and I asked they asked them, I said, Hey, is there any way to, to get around you guys so I don't have to, you know, be a pain again? So he's like, Yeah, if you take this road over here, then you can go over here. So I'm I just took my detour, I'm making sure that it's all clear. That vehicle hopefully will be moved. He just parked there for now. So that when I do come through here with the trailer, if I can manage to get the trailer by myself, then we'll be taking this road instead of that road. It's getting down to the wire. It is getting down to the wire. I just got 101 hooked up to the Duramax. I got 30 pounds worth of air in the airbags. Now I gotta put some more air on the tires back here. I wanted to hook it up to the Duramax so when I put air in these things, it wasn't creeping away on me. did it even in snow Duramax you're doing me good the tires are holding there I think I got like 20 pounds in each one of them I'm gonna cut back some of these lines woohoo yeah how's it going okay the trailer is behind me right now Jake's meeting me at the gate I gotta take my turns very, very wide because this thing is a 35 foot trailer. Took four wheel drive to get out of the spot and a little bit of turbo. We're on two wheel drive right now because we're on drag pavement. Holy crap, this thing was a workout. And uh, we're not even home yet, so the adrenaline still has to, it's still kicking. Once we get home, it'll be a little better, but everybody better get out of this thing's way, including the guy up there. 
got it in trailer haul mode. We're almost at the gate. So far, so good. My uh, my onboard braking system is even registering that it's on there, so that's good. To be honest with you, I don't really want to take it too easy right now. I kind of want to let it hit some bumps to make sure that these tires are going to hold, that this thing's not going to fall off or burst into pieces. I want to be very, very safe. Let me be clear on that. I do not want to hurt anybody. I do not want to hurt anything. I want everything to go bulletproof. I want to be a responsible machine. Hey buddy, how you doing? Good. You see I got it? Yeah, I see that. Look at that. I tightened down all the lugs. I've got about 35 PSI around all of them, maybe about 38 PSI. It says about they take about 50. I think I should boost them up a little bit more. I can you? Yeah. Why not then? How come there's such a big gap? Because this thing comes down. This thing comes down. What? Oh yeah, those are big guys. So when you travel, it's gonna be open like that? Yeah. Oh my god. Like for right now. I know that's goofy. Yeah, it's you goofy, know, but so are you. That's normal? I don't know. I got a tire inflator for the, you know, for a vehicle. Can you pull yours to the side of mine? Oh, the door came open. I shot that. Six and a half hours late. Jake, the toilet snake, 3D machines, and Crush's home have gone two miles so far. No tires to pop, knock on wood. No cops, no issues, nothing. Jake's, Jake's following me, I'm sure I have a line back there because I want to I wanna be safe, I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the 10 people that are behind me. But if I pull over, I'm never gonna get back in the lane, so they're just gonna have to have a 30 second delay. A few inches later. We've gone a couple more miles, I have to say, with the airbags and the Duramax, this is my biggest load, and it's hauling it like absolute nothing. I thought it was going to be a huge pain, but it's, it's been going very, very smooth. But, but, oh yeah, we got to wait for it. Jake's back there. I almost stuck out the one, the one pole. Because this thing is huge. This thing is so long. We're across the street to my grandmother's property. We have the trailer all in one piece. We went to go get it weighed. You saw a little clip of that. Uh, the back end dragged on the ground. It's so long. It's it's massively long. Jake's going to try to help me right now. He's going to try to break a trail for me. And I'm going to try to put this camp right over here. I'm going to go right where he is. He's breaking trail. Or he's getting stuck on me, one or the other. Is that two wheel driver or is that four? Yeah, it's pretty deep. Is that two or four? Four? You gotta be kidding me. Maybe this is a good idea then. If he packs all this down, then I can come in here with a little bit of speed and just park it right here. I can't be in this roadway. Well there, he, he just made it. Maybe if he'll go through there a couple more times, then I'll just, as soon as I get, as soon as I get right here, I'm pinning it. I hope I don't take out their signs. I'll probably take out their signs. Pull right now. Am I gonna hit their signs or not? Second pull, do you guys think this weighs 7,800 pounds, 8,000 pounds, 8,200 pounds, or 8,500 pounds? What do you think that thing weighs? Look at how much bigger it is to my Duramax. My Duramax weighs, I think, somewhere around 6,700. You think that's good? Try it. I, I think I should pick up their signs before I hit them. Sign. These signs. Because yeah. I think I'm going to swing and hit them. Are you going to get a shot? And get a shot. Uh, park your park your rig up here and get a shot of the old Duramax doing some work. Should I go through there a couple more times? Dude, you could barely get through that. Uh, the four-wheel drive's goofy in this thing. You ain't kidding. Your front wheel isn't turning. I, I just put it in. Work. I think I'm just gonna go for it. If I get stuck, then that sucks. He's definitely getting stuck. <laughs> I have no doubt. <laughs> I just hope he hopefully he can get in far enough. Well, he got it off the roadway. He got it off the roadway. Off the road. 
Yeah. yeah. My turbo, I've never seen that much turbo before. Oh, did I break my door? Did you see me take off? Take over yeah, the van? You went over the, you hit that Schumach tree. What Schumach tree? That one that's falling down. That was, that was awesome. <laughs> you made it in further than what I thought you were going to. Dude, that thing was falling it way better than I thought it was. I thought I was going to get stuck right there and just like, wow. Traction control likes to kick in. Otherwise, it went faster. Now you got to see if you can unhook it and pull out. Yeah. Hey, the, the pipe is still intact. He's gonna have to wait till July to pull this thing out. What do you think my grandma's gonna think of this? I'm gonna be surprised with the size. Yeah, I think so too. Man, she's gonna come over on this side and be like, who the frick is the rest of it? <laughs> hey, our door flew open. We got the automated door system, which is really nice. Dude, our light's even intact, look at that. That's handy. Jake, we made it all the way here without tickets. The Good. whole way without tickets, issues, or anything. God bless America. God bless the Duramax. God bless the machines and the machine freaks. Thank you, you guys. Can you tell the subscribers how much this thing weighs? Oh, yeah, and the weight is 8,200? Yeah. 8,200 pounds. So this thing weighs a ton. Stuck! years later. Are you washing your truck? I just did. Hey, you better, you better show them that. <laughs> you start washing your truck away, buddy. Yeah, oops, a little weight But reduction. hey, but at least you got some power here. You got extra power there. Hey, uh, you must gotta, be- You gotta go to the link in the description to get some. That's right, that's gotta, right. Yeah. This guy, he's plugging. Sean, you want a parfait? Take a parfait. A parfait? Yeah, take a parfait. What, what, what do we get? Oh, dude. Take one. Is, that, is this for your body here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can have mine, though. Dude, you're awesome. You're awesome. Yeah, Drive safe, okay? All right. We'll Come see on, you later. This guy's plugging, man. He's the best. Plugging that machine merch.